This video right here is just my thoughts on something that I think could be a potentially good idea. There is no commitment from Stone Saunders at this time, no substance to this. However, I did see that he was visiting the Nebraska Cornhuskers in the past. He does have an offer from them. And I know that with Coach Rule's Pennsylvania ties, that this could potentially be a possibility and that Nebraska is very much interested in making Stone Saunders its quarterback in the 2025 class. Now, Stone has a ton of offers, as is a ton of high-level national programs, Georgia, Alabama, I mean, you name it. He's visited Clemson. He's visited Texas. He's got Michigan. He's got Penn State, Texas A&M. So definitely going to be a lot of competition for a top 15 quarterback recruit currently, according to rivals in the 2025 class. But I've actually watched Stone Saunders game a lot since his freshman year. He just finished up his sophomore year recently, and he won the state championship for Bishop McDevitt High School. He didn't play against the best competition necessarily, considering it was 4A, but to me that really doesn't matter because you can watch film and you can tell somebody is good and talented and Stone Saunders is just that. He is very much a top 15 quarterback recruit, so the level of competition is not really concerning to me. Although, side note, I do wish that Bishop McDevitt would finally play the Harrisburg Cougars. They need to make that happen. Both of those schools need to play, but that's enough of the Pennsylvania football politics right there. Stone Saunders is one of the more accurate quarterbacks I've seen in this class, and he can really make any throw on the field. He was playing with a lot of talent at Bishop McDevitt High School recently this past season. Riley Robel, James Madison commit, Rico Scott, 2024 wide receiver who just committed to Alabama, Marquise Williams going to Minnesota to play running back. So he played with a lot of talented players. Um, Gabriel Arena, an offensive tackle, going to Virginia Tech on the O-line. So he played with a, a lot of talent, a lot of talent, but he certainly stands out on the film. You guys can see here. I got no doubt that he's going to be a good player, and he could be a, a potential option for the Nebraska Cornhuskers in the future. You know, I mean, Nebraska needs to upgrade the quarterback position. We'll see how they do this season, but I do think if they are going to entice Stone Saunders, they need to win more games. Got to make a bowl game. Can't be going three and nine, four and eight. Can Matt Rule do that? If he can do that and get into to the seven and five and eight and four range, maybe just maybe. Nebraska can finally get out the gutter and stop being the bottom class of the Big Ten and get back to their winning ways. But until then, they got to win some more games and maybe they can get some quarterbacks like Stone Saunders.